boys, baddies, bimbos, bugs, babes. It's me, your papa. I'm back from the milk store. And uh, I learned a lot. I missed you. I missed your mama. I want to come back. I want to make it work. It's not too late, is it? I'm sure... I know that you're old now, I know that you're a teenager now, and you can't really make those same sort of bonds that we would have been able to make if, if I was there when you were, I don't know, two or three or four or five, but I'm back now for more Disco Elysium. Kim Kataragi waiting for me outside my door is crazy. This man loves me. So, I uh, hope you guys are good. Sorry it's been a couple of days since the last episode. I've been a little busy. A little p p p preoccupied the last few days. Hope you guys have been okay. Um, I asked you before I had that little breaky wakey. Uh, what should I do so that I don't miss anything that you guys think what color is important or pertinent to the game experience? And um, I've got a list. You guys, there's quite a lot of stuff. So I've got a list over here on the side. And I'm going to try to get all that done um, in maybe like two or three videos. Maybe more. Actually, it's, it's a lot of stuff. And... Well, we'll just see how it goes. Um, I think this would be better. I think I've been very, like, intensely focused on trying to find Ruby. And um, I thought that was, like, how to really progress in the game. And it is, to the end, I guess. So, um, we'll do everything else. What do we got for a Bev today? We have got lemonade, raspberry lemonade. With pulp. I love pulp. Uh, what does it taste like? It tastes like... Tastes like everything might be all right. It's weird for me to say that. It's weird for me to be feeling that, but it, it might be. Uh, let's get to it, man. Um, good morning, good morning, Kim Katsurag. It's yellow fin season soon. I'll ask Liliana out later today. The guy said to do that. And um, I don't know, it might be good for Harry to do that. I see a lot of myself in Harry, obviously, naturally, understandably, considering so much of the situation that he's in and I'm in are, uh, there seem to be a lot of, um, paths crossing. And, um, I feel like been in a very much like, yeah, I'm not doing this again with anybody position, blah, blah, blah. But it, it was helpful to go on some dates and spend some time with other people. So if we can do that for Harry, that would be... That would be cute, you know what I mean? That would be- it would be not. Calls become terrible sometimes, phone calls. Damn, dude. You know, there, th this game will just have a line or two that'll just remind me of shit, man. I don't know. You guys know the story of how my first relationship ended after two years of sleeping with a couple of my friends. Uh, one day... I think it was on my birthday, actually. She had slept with somebody else on my birthday. We were, like, on a break, like, in the middle of one of our fights. It had been, like, two days, you know what I mean? Um, and I called her, and I was like, yo, like, you know, it's my birthday. Like, come over. Like, I, I'm alone. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. She knows how I was. And she's like, nah. And I was like, is there somebody else? And she was like, yeah. And I was, like, losing it on the phone, dude. And my dad came in, and he, he was like... I guess he was trying to help, but he's so... You know, like, I guess... Okay, that thing that I was talking about... Oh, what if what if I came back when you were two or three or whatever? That was actually about my dad. He's so, like, emotionally inept. Like, I'm actively, like, screaming, crying. Like, it's real ugly. It's real bad. He's like, what's wrong? Are you heartbroken? <laughs> My parents speak, I speak a couple languages, but my parents speak more of a color. And I speak a language that they think I don't speak, and I made sure to always, like, make it so that I, I seem like I didn't understand, because they speak about things they don't want me to hear, and so... Uh, yeah, my dad was talking to my mom in that language, and all he said was like, Jesus, this is really sad. I was like, well, you know, in it. A metal payphone under a yellow plastic dome. Dude, you could I was in a good mood. Someone. I play, I, I look at one line in this game. 
and I I'm ready to cry. Anyway, there's people said to use this phone a lot, so we'll use it a lot. You hear the tone. The machine is inoperable. Calling. Still calling. This feels wrong. Should you be doing this? I have done this. <laughs> End of tone. Someone picks up. Uh, all right, boys. How many minutes? Five minutes in. All right. Yeah, it's me, Pierre. So nice of you to find the time to call me. It gets so lonely. Even the animals have died. That's no good. Are you sure you're Pierre? Your voice, it's different. I... There. Chrysanthemums. Her voice is drowned in white noise. Sounds like waves washing a beach, growing in volume until the call suddenly disconnects. You get a sinking feeling. It makes you look if Lieutenant Kitsuragi overheard you. To your relief, he did not. When I'm interacting with people with dementia and they think that I'm somebody else, I just like to play along. I think whether or not they recognize that that's not the case, it might make them feel better temporarily to just hope that I'm whoever it is that they're missing. Calling. Still calling. Again? Seriously? Yeah. Someone with a masculine voice picks up. Hello, Gerard speaking. I don't want to be mean to Gerard. Sorry, wrong number, man. Don't worry about it, buddy. It happens to all of us. You have a nice day now. See, Gerard was a nice guy. I don't want to be mean to Gerard. Phone hanging up. Disconnect tone. Calling. 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 Why am I on the verge of tears already, dude? Still calling. Still calling. Stop calling me, man. I'll get you your money, alright? I just need till tonight. Let me work. <laughs> Delivered to the whirling and rags. I, um... Hey! <laughs> You're not Tessis. Hey, hey, hey! Screw you. It was worth a try, man. Again. You're fucking with some serious people. Disconnect tone. <clears throat> okay, man. My YouTube comment told me to keep doing this. Calling. I'm tired. Sounds like he hasn't talked to anyone in quite a while. What are you tired of? Right. I hate writing so much, but I have to get back to it. The man disappears with a sigh. I wonder if the devs uh, put any like self inserts in these phone calls. I wonder if that was a writer of the game to be like, yo man, this <laughs> You do not hear the customary disconnect tone, just silence in the handset. The machine is still waiting for you to dial a number. Seems like it did not have time to swallow the coin. This sometimes happens. Lucky you. The call went too fast for the payphone to register. You can still make a new one without paying. You close your eyes and put your. Did imagine if that was a failure time. and it was just then a sign that I shouldn't. Then move one up. I shouldn't go through with this. The motion twice. Strange. This is not how you started before. Four one four 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 seven. The rotary dial feels cold from the sea air. One 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 seven 
361. Your fingers keep moving like a spider every time the ring rotates back with a little ring of metal, like a bell tolling. Ugh. You know, my ex still follows me on Spotify, so every once in a while I would like go check their playlists, you know? <laughs> I don't know, it was like the last. It's like weird, it's like weirdo behavior, but it's like the last thing. Um, and I saw someone else had made a playlist for them, and I was like tweaking out a little bit for a sec. Um, but then I was looking through their playlist and in their playlist on my website, there's a button with Korean text and it's just a phrase that they used to say to me a lot. And that button leads to a playlist and it's like 16 hours long or something. It's just like a bunch of songs that I thought they would like, or they could use to DJ cause they like DJing. And I was looking in their playlist and there were a lot of songs from that playlist. So that was nice. It was something, you know, that's all I needed. You know, it was, it was something. Yes. Four, five, one, six, seven, four, five, one. You are going deeper now into some unknown place, far away from this island of matter and its telecommunication networks. Four, five, one. You have dialed God knows how many numbers. The headset has been waiting silently to relay a signal. Surely nothing can come of this, you think. But it does. That seems a like connection. the length of like an overseas number. An ultra long distance call. Yeah. Your air fills with a crackle. The wash of a strange ocean full of white noise. A little bird starts ringing in there. Not like the local calling tone before. No, a small ring in a cage of distortion. Far away. A distant network of phones. Calling, calling in the night, the saddest sound in the world. Both pitiful and terrifying, you feel your pulse rising with each ring. Calling still, ringing by the bedside of a dark but capacious apartment with long windows. You know this to be true. The handset starts slipping from your sweaty palm. Your breathing is heavy. You can't hang it up now. <laughs> you can't hang it up now. You just do. And you know it is going to hurt. Calling. 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 Calling still. Then the ocean breaks. Out of the depths, a woman's voice emerges. Small. The dearest thing you've ever heard. Hello? <laughs> Y'all really set me up like this, huh? Why do I have to say this to proceed? Why do I gotta be on some weirdo shit? Dora, who is this? The connection is bad. Dora, the name feels like a gift. A gift that was meant for you to make it possible to live.
and fight. In the distorted distance, you hear someone turning next to her. Bed springs rattle. Don't react. Whatever you do, don't react to that last thing. It doesn't matter if you react or not. You still think you hear a man's voice in the background. It's covered in pain and white noise. A sigh. She heard you, but she does not hang up. And neither do you. You can't. That's it. You're caught in a trap. It'll take quite a while for the shit circus to end now. You're not a revolutionary, Harry. You're drunk. You only have two, maybe three things left to say before the change runs out. Oh, God. Do you know what time it is? It's so late here. It's four o'clock, Harry. I need to wake up in two hours. What do you want to talk about that we haven't talked about already? This is bad. You feel your right hand on the handset crimping up with pain. To work. The academy where I work. No response, only a sigh. The connection crackles like burning paper. What are you doing to yourself right now? You need to stop. Harry, you're killing yourself. isn't moving. The headset hisses in your ear with evil sadness. I'm in Morova, sleeping. in your your hand your hand your hand your hand your hand your hand isn't moving the headset hisses in your ear with evil sadness she does not answer anymore Harry disconnect tone the machine ran out of money Run, to the church, home, anywhere but here, anything but calling her again. Hey, uh, I'm sorry if you guys wanted me to call her again. I'm not doing that shit. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Maybe another day on another playthrough, but um, not today of all days and not tomorrow of all days. All right, what do we got to do next? What do we got to do next? Um, I don't know. I'll take a break, I think. You guys are so sick and I'm fucking, fucking twisted. twisted! Telling me to make that phone call. I don't want to call her again. I want to leave her alone. But I've also been saying I want to go into the pain. So let's see. 
Let's see. A metal payphone under a yellow plastic dome. There's a bit life is garbage. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think there's a lot of inclination for people to say and feel. Understandably so that life sucks and the world is garbage. But you know what, chat? Despite everything going on, flowers are still beautiful. Sitting under a tree for some shade in a hot summer day is still a lovely experience. The world and nature is still beautiful. You know what I mean? That's not going to change, no matter how much we damage it. You know? Even in the most arid deserts, there's still beauty to be found. You dial the number again. 26 pulls of the rotary dial. The machine eats the coin, and a terrifying ocean of distance rustles in your ear. In the middle of it, a familiar ring. Small, distorted. Second twisted! Calling. Calling. Let it call. Calling. Fuck calling. It. calling. 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 It looks like she doesn't want to pick it up, Harry. Stop scaring her. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Calling. Calling. Harry, Underneath it, she is naked and warm under a blanket. Phone hanging up. Disconnect tone. That's it. I'm. I'm not. I'm not pushing. I'm not pushing. I'm not pushing. I'm not pushing. If I lost it, I lost it. I'm sorry, chat. If I missed out on something, I missed out. But I need you guys to understand. Like, for me, it's too much. You know what I mean? For me, it's too much. I have not a fucking clue how to find those traps i know it says north of something west of something i know but i'm like horribly geographically challenged one time in college i uh i was supposed to have dinner with this girl so i went up i had to walk up the hill up mission hill actually <laughs> in boston i walk up mission hill i get to her house we have dinner yada yada i come out and I keep walking in the same direction that I walked up to. Like, I walked this way and I came out and I kept walking this way. Oh, this guy's back. Like my brain, my brain was just like, okay, all we can handle about geography is one direction. So I just, I just like, I don't know why. I have no like real sense of, I'm sure I could learn and figure it out. I'm sure, but. Hello, isn't this a fine morning? No, I'm afraid I can't help you with this one, officer. It's just a regular day off for me and Mikhail here. So you haven't seen anyone around? No, I'm sorry. As I said, this is just a day off. We j There's something friendly and familiar in how he says that. A day, day off. off. I'm gonna leave that man alone to have a day off with his son, dude. Again, chat, I'm really sorry if I'm missing out on things that you guys are thinking is important. I gotta just like... For me, I'm trying to play the game as I would play it, and honestly, I wouldn't have even... That's not true, I would have made that second phone call. Now, who are you? You did not go home? We'll be on our way soon. Thank you again for lending a hand. They may not look impressive, but Lena designed them quite cleverly, so I'm sure they'll do the trick. What are you using as a bait? Locusts. Locusts. Nearly all known phasmids are herbivores, of course. But we've hypothesized that the Insulindian phasmid might occasionally prey on other insects. Right. Inside the traps, a number of locusts crawl and tumble over one another in a tiny, chittering swarm. All right. A meat-eating stick insect? Does it pretend to be the reeds as part of its ambush behavior? This seems unlikely. All right, we got to help Suna. Right, we got to go back into town, I forget. We got to go back into town and help Suna. Get that, uh, get that tape for her so the nightclub boys can get that going. Sekai wo. Any lamp enjoyers in chat? Anyway, I had a, I had a good couple of days, you know. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but historically, not well. Historically, it's always a bit of a maudlin affair, but who knows? T t this year might be the year, right? 
It might be good this year. It would be good if it was good this year. I could use it. You know, I could use it. It's been... I could use a year of W's, you know? Oh, there's a trap. Okay, okay. There's a trap in the reeds at your feet. Looks like the same one you saw Morel set before. Same mesh, same wiring. Living in the city. Living in the city! Living in the city, man. Go get him. It's always, always some crazy shit going on. Look the around. The reeds bend forlornly toward the sand. You see slabs of concrete north, in the east. The city center hums to you. The constant, distant song. Louder on this part of the coast. Nearer somehow. And there's that cold again. Always, Always the, cold. the cold. Locusts are crawling around in the trap. Confused, but uneaten. You see no carnivorous reed <laughs> Confused locusts. Dude, that's a hell of a bad name. Big surprise. Anyway, one down. Two I really... Go. It's so, you know, yeah, it's just I helping the citizens no out. Just... Come on, Kim. Come, like, Kim, you know, you got to fix the attitude, Kim. You know, man, at the end of the day, what's wrong with being a little silly, Kim? What's wrong with being a little corny? Kim Katsuragi, are you having fun being serious super cop all the time? I think not. Okay, buddy. Find some cryptids, man. Dude. Hey, can you fucking bozos get the fuck away from my car, please? That's one brutal motor carriage. If I were a real skull now, I'd jack it, paint it in palm tree livery, then bottom light it, neon style. They look cool, though. A snazzy shit ripped skull mobile like this would make a fine trophy. We could, like, hang fucking shrunken heads from the side mirrors. Cops' heads. Scary tribal shit. Yeah, tribal shit. A cop carriage like this would have proper skull value. Ahem. <clears throat> While I appreciate the interest you take in my brutal, brutal motor, motor carriage, carriage, I have to stop you right there. The RCM takes threats directed at its property seriously. I, um, it's just theoretical work, copper. No basis in reality. Man, if we were certified skulls right now... Is this school like a motor gang? Was it a good idea on the lieutenant's part to get into this? Don't even answer that. Just leave. Just leave, man. Let's go, uh, let's go do some jobs, man. Let's go do the real work. The boots on the ground. Please, Annette, go inside. Hello again, sir. Yeah, what well, shouldn't you be at I school? I do my studies at home at the moment. I have to help mum keep this place running. Mum says it's necessary to do both because it builds character. Mum says a proper worker is dutiful. That's how you get ahead in life. You succeed. There is stress and unease behind these words. Okay, you know what? We're gonna go have a fucking talk with Plaisance. Holding the gun feels natural and satisfying. It's like an extension of your arm. It reminds you of the day you first held it, with fear and respect, hoping you don't have to use it in vain. The sun was out in Jamrock. It was so long ago. Yeah, if I'm being honest, shut up. I'm ready to move on, you know. No matter how tragic, harrowing, or sad the past was, it is what it is, you know, just... This is your gun. It's angry at you for losing it. Everyone is. The least you can do is press your lips against the cold steel to apologize, and then, and then try to, to go, go on, on living. Play songs. Hello again, esteemed officer, and welcome to crime. Oh yes, how's my precious doing? She's a good girl. Mind your own business. Denial is the way she copes with criticism. The woman before you scans. Then why are you talking to me? Everything. She smiles and nods. Fucking hate you, Plaisance. I really hate Plaisance. Let the girl inside! A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by Wirral related merchandise. Wonderful board games, sir. The Viticulturist is a classic for sure. Or perhaps you'd like Archipelagos, Archipelagos of Insulinde. A very educational game for those interested in geography. Which one is Kim gonna signal he's interested in? Raoul 
Ritter is a fun game of economic competition but can get quite intense after a while. We have games for the whole family. You can play with your children. Who are you going to play board games with? Do you have friends or family? Are you actually friends or just colleagues thrown together by circumstance? Friends are technically like family. For playing with friends, I'd recommend Suzerainity. It's a civilization. Civilization. I'm literally sitting here chat resisting the urge to go play Civ 6. And repress other civilizations. It'll cost 12 real. That's by, that's by the game. A wholesome family game. Shut up. Game, let's play Civ. In your hands, you hold a brand new copy of the game, Suzerainty. It's the cover features a charming illustration depicting a mass of grinning laborers loading goods onto a ship. While the plastic wrap rips off as easily as a bodice in a tawdry historical romance. There's a hiss as the lid slides off. Inside, you find a thick, full-color rulebook and more than a dozen pouches of various wooden components. All right. <sighs> Savor that new board game smell. A mix of wood, paper, and ink, all wrapped in the sweet must of cardboard. Kim, let's play a game. The lieutenant looks over the rulebook before he sees something that makes his eyes go wide. Is he a little nerdlinger? Holy shit. The average playing time for this game is one to six hours. Yeah, that's safe, all right. I'm not sure we can afford to set aside that kind of time for a game. Come on, Kim. What Yay! Yay! It's an elaborate game. You need logical inference, attention to detail, the ability to analyze your opponent's motives. Hmm. I do feel like my thinking has become somewhat rigid. Maybe a little diversion to keep the mind limber is just what's in order. Come on, Nat Kim. See? He's doing the hard work himself. All it's he needs is a little bit. Uh, all right. You've convinced me. How do we play? Let's read the rules. When I thrash you, I want to make sure it's by the book. When I thrash you is crazy, Kim. It's crazy. What color? The lieutenant flips through the manual more quickly than you're able to keep up with. No! Then you each take your bag of tokens and counters and unfold the board between you. In the center is the I was told something interesting. It says time only moves when you're talking with vessels. people in this game. Each and I didn't... I was like... How, I was thinking about that. How does time work? That's really rain. cool. Man, I saw a post that was like, oh yeah, this company's like... The sequel was like canceled and they were working on another IP and that was like canceled or taken away. It's like, God, bro. I, dude, if they had enough games, I'm sure this channel would be dedicated to only games that these motherfuckers make because I can't think of another game that comes close to this. That, like, I haven't played a lot of video games at all, but I have knowledge of a lot of video games and nothing really quite strikes me as, as this, you know? Apricots from Safre. Archaeological treasures from Ilmarat, sugars from the Seminine Islands, and magenta cocaine from Supra Muindi and Sara Maritza. There's also a neat little log to keep track of your progress in case you need to put the game away and return to it later. Cool. The lieutenant goes first. He draws a contract card and moves several of his workers to the Safre territory of the board and the others to the Seminine Islands. All right, Detective, your turn. My turn? You have a few options available to you. Will you try to fulfill contracts right away or rearrange your workers to maximize production on future turns? Let my workers rest. What? It's the very beginning of the game. Your workers haven't even done any work yet. Let them rest anyway. There's no concept of rest in suzerainty. Workers have to work. You produce a handful of archaeological treasures and a smattering of other resources. Meanwhile, the lieutenant spends two of his sugar and one of his apricot tokens to complete his contract card. That's a market. It's worth two victory points. <laughs> the lieutenant returns your bail for work <laughs> with a oh, satisfying Oh, Kim Katsuragi, man. Come on. Is that your game face? Your practice. What is going on? Position to the lieutenant with that expression. Glancing over the board, you see several possible strategies. Pressing more workers into service would increase your economic output and help you to survive a possible conflict 
with the lieutenant. Or you could ignore your labor supply and focus on fulfilling contracts for points and resources. What do you do? Hmm. Yeah, more workers. Using your powers of persuasion, you convince more workers to join your cause. After several turns, your worker tokens greatly outnumber the lieutenants. A vast army of expendable labor is at your command. Take pity on him. Mm. Too bad investing in your workers just isn't worth many points. What do you mean? Take a look at the scoring tables in the back. You see in Table 8C that investing in territorial infrastructure multiplies your final victory point total by one, which is to Dude. say not at all. Dude, I, Whereas, people tell me that this game doesn't lean any particular five. way. But I have a hard time believing that when I you get you get text like, so you're saying the values of the ruling class are completely divorced from the well-being of the people who generate their wealth? Like, I feel like you don't quite put that in the game if you don't believe it a little bit. In such an earnest way, you know? Yes, precisely. Now it's the lieutenant's turn to respond. He moves aggressively onto the Safari territory. Soon, his workers are producing a steady supply of extremely valuable apricots. apricots. How can you let the lieutenant dominate you like that? You need to hit back and hard. For several turns, you struggle to respond to the lieutenant's burgeoning apricot empire. Eventually, you relocate the majority of your... You draw a new... Oh yeah, baby. Cocaine, cocaine and rock, and rock music, music go together, together like... like cocaine, cocaine and, and rock, rock music. music. You've reached a critical... All right, I'm gonna... I'm gonna cut back to this. It's going to take a while to set everything up again. <laughs> Come on, Kevin, let's go do some work, man. You hold the open game. I right, played board games with Kim Katsuragi. Should go talk to Kuno, but I also I gotta have Titus and them boys help out the pigs. Do their thing. Say say they're the, the, the local law enforcement. Come on, Titus! Alright. The copper NATO is yeah. back. What, what do you, do you want? want? Help the old lady, Titus. <laughs> What's that, copper? You want us to help little old ladies now? Yes! You're local law enforcement, aren't you? Helping trouble civilians should fall under your jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah. We'll send someone out. Who is? Wait. It's the pigs, isn't it? Yeah. God. Poor lady. All right. Don't worry. We'll handle that. I think she got some family in Kuwait. All right, Titus. All right, there you go. Bastards left her alone when she got sick. We've been getting complaints. Yeah, man. Hey, wasn't Everard's B team looking for her the other day? They said something about her, I don't know, finding something? Yeah, I think you're right, Gene. She have something of yours, pig. Whatever you do, do not admit to these punks you lost your gun. No. Well... Whatever then, copper. No. They totally said what it was. Well, I don't remember. I hate oh, Eugene, I man! Let me know if you figure it out back there. Now, what, yeah, what's anything her name? Anything else we can help you with? Auntie LaPlante, we always called her. Something LaPlante. Mm. Marianne, amigo. Marianne LaPlante. Anything else you wanted to know? Nah, man. No problem, old cop man. We take care of our mentally ill here in Martinez. Ain't, Ain't that, that right, right boss? boss? Sure enough. Shut up, Eugene. I want to bash Eugene's fucking head in with a baseball bat. Fuck you, Eugene. All right, we got to talk to Joycey. And that made me think of how my friend Teeny oh, calls hello, their dude. cat. There their cat's name again. is Jersey. And they're like, Jersey. Uh, I've lost all my memory, Lena. Surely things can't be that bad. They you are. sense that she won't judge you, no matter what you say. They're catastrophic, Lena. You know where we are, right? We're in the Whirling and Rags. That's right. And where is the Whirling itself located? Uh, Revachol? Yes, indeed. We are in the fine city of Revachol. I don't know shit about fuck when it comes to Revachol, Lena. Oh my. How would I even begin to tell you? 
Revishol is the most beautiful city in the world. Surely that's not true. Fortunate to be here, you and I. I haven't seen very many other cities personally. Everyone <laughs> says so. Revishol is a rare jewel. This city used to rule the world, though it has seen better days. Speaking of history, you know what year it is, yes? 51. That's right, dear. How splendid. Here, take this pen. Yay! Knowledge should always be rewarded. <gasps> That's all it takes for me to fall in love with somebody, man, is for them to be a little bit nice to me. Her relief is palpable. She was getting pretty worried about you then. What a nice but old lady. She relaxes her shoes. We will find this cryptid for her. Outside, spring rain seeps into the cracks in the walls and the cobblestone streets. What's up, and Shivers? into grated storm drains. All the way down into the sewers. Above ground, the first, the first May, May bells, bells blossom. I can tell that this is taxing for you, so I'll just ask one more question. What regime are we living under? What mode of government? I have no clue. I'd like to think it's a dictatorship of the proletariat, but I something tells me it's not. No, sadly not. Revishal is what's called a zone of control under an alliance of foreign powers called the Coalition. We have no government of our own, and what democracy we have is market-driven. I'm disappointed. It is quite disappointing, yes. A lot of people would like some form of representation. There's talk, but for now, the RCM is all we've got. Oh dear. And you were doing so well. There, there aren't, aren't really, really any cops, cops in Revishol. Not in the traditional sense. The status of law enforcement has been a complicated matter since the, since revolution. the revolution. But we should stop for today, sweetie. You look like you need a break. Besides, I'm not the best person to explain the big things to anyone. I do need a break. She's scared now. She's realized you really are brain damaged. <laughs> Who could tell me Someone more? Someone more educated in sweeping matters? No, I'm not an encyclopedia. I won't be a guide either. I'm a police officer. Whatever, Kim. Uh, of course. Then, I don't know. Someone rich, maybe. Wealthy people are educated. Though I don't know where you would find a wealthy person in Martinez. But thank you, sweetie. You did make me forget about my worries for a while. Thanks, ma'am. All right. I actually will take a break. I should, yes, unlock. Somebody told me to definitely internalize wasteland in reality. And, you know, I'm nothing if not a sucker for more punishment. So let's do that. What else is up on our list? Um, we got to talk to Kuno. And then we got to call about the library card and so on and so forth. Okay. Go have a chat with the Coonster, dude. The Coonster is crazy, dude. <laughs> what percentage black is Kuno, do you guys think? All right, Kuno, it's time to tell me your tragic, heartbreaking backstory that's going to make me Help forgive you. Kuno, I'm looking for the children of the Big C, Kuno. You know anything about that? Kuno is the Big C pig, and Kuno doesn't have fucking diaper rats, does he? I don't know, does he? You weren't Kuno, pig old. No fucking diaper rats. Who, who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno pig? It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly, the kid's using the third person perspective as a shield. There we go. Kuno. Primal. Violent. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna. So, you refer to yourself as Kuno in the third person to distance yourself from the situation? Kuno doesn't do that smart shit. Don't throw that book shit at Kuno. <laughs> Kuno knows you're lying. <laughs> And you know what? There's something admirable about Kuno for that, man. Not pretending he's anything but what he is. 
trying to get Kuno hooked on the book. The boy knows he has an addictive personality. Admirable insight for his age. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! The thing behind the fence starts squealing. Just answer the questions, oh, man. He's digging his dick <laughs> Escalate, Kuno! His dick is out! You're a <laughs> Escalate, dude. Like she's an improv coach. Pigs it in, Kuno! Somebody, please! Windows are being opened. <laughs> On Rue saint -Sipar, people are turning their heads. An elderly woman puts down her grocery bags in front of the Fritz store and listens. Somewhere behind her. The gates of the industrial harbor are raised. On the catwalk, above the shipping containers, a broad-shouldered man jerks his head up. That <laughs> Kuno? Cops getting killed out there. The tattooed mesk next to him smiles. That's, That's Kuno, Kuno alright. Right. Look at his shit-eating grin. He knows there's nothing you can do to him. He's bullying you, and Yo. you are helpless. What is good Kill with Half Light? Kill him now. He won't see death coming. Is there a run where you can kill Scare Kuno? him. How did this happen? You can still get out of this. Appeal to his reason. Are you higher right now, Kuno? Help! Misters, help! Rolling super hard. He's rolling fucking hard. He's having the time of his life. Total ecstasy. Okay, you Fuck know it. Big. Good for Kuno, He's man. He's flashing Kuno. He's showing his genitals. If you don't help <laughs> Kuno now, it'll be too late. <laughs> I don't want to punch Kuno. Look. F I know you wanted to hit me. You got that. I'm going to fuck that Kuno up look. That Kuno's dad gets. Uh, the murder look. Uh, the rage look. Uh. Relax. He can't read your mind. He doesn't know you were thinking that. Oh, so Kuno's me when I finally did meet my dad, huh? That's great. Love that. There's a dead body, remember? That's what you were doing here. You're a cop on a case. Why don't we just get back to the interview, Kuno? I know what you thought. I'm gonna fuck that Kuno up. I'm gonna shut that shit down. You know what? You should've. Because now, you're nothing. You're a joke to Kuno. Kuno laughs at you. King Kuno! King the whole Kuno. charade was about establishing dominance over you. You backing up means he's succeeded. Hey, that's alright, man. Kuno turned you into his prison, bitch! You're gonna be in this shit with Kuno! No, you're not. We can just leave. Bitch, you're gonna be in this shit with Kuno forever! <laughs> You know, I really hate interacting with these two, but I I trust that the devs will make it worth it. You know what I mean? Like I've come to trust the people who made this game. So like it's it's been hard for me to engage with some parts of the game because what color? It's like abrasive or like I don't care enough, Sevi. Um but like now that I have this sense that it might be worth it to do so, yeah? Okay. Kuno is kind to his bitch. <laughs> Ask your questions, but remember, this changes shit. Click 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 click. Empathy four percent. Um Kuno doesn't Let me do some drugs. Let's see, do I have anything that boosts my empathy? Uh this gives me empathy. And excuse me, empathy. What a fit! What a fit! All right, um, all right, that's it. Pineapple, apple pen. All right, let me do some. Uh, let me do some drugs. Based. Ah. ah. Running low on health. Welcome to running, running on empty. empty. Food review! My disappointment is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. I'll talk to Kuno. Fuck, does Kuno care? It's not Nice! It's Kuno S.
Kuno S is making him act like this, or Kuno wants to be Kuno S. Kuno S is by far the worst of the two. Kuno has no problem being near you, but the okay. other hides behind the fence, afraid for her life, like she's done something, something very bad. She came up with that psychopathic scheme of screaming for help before. Kuno just wanted to talk to you about his name. Kuno S was the one who wound him up and directed him. All in all, Kuno respects madness. You cannot hope to outdo her on that front. You must win yourself a few minutes with him alone. Fuck you whispering about. <laughs> Kuno. He's whispering too. He's going with it. But watch what happens. Is he gonna hit me or something? Fuck you f whispering about! If Kuno wants to whisper, he's gonna fucking whisper, okay? Let's whisper, pig. This is it. You've got him. But be careful. You can still fuck this up. Don't make Kuno look bad in this. Okay, if I say she's trying to control him, what is he gonna be like? No one can control Kuno? She's terrifying? Crazy. You don't know the half of it. She's not crazy. She's insane. Dangerous. She smoked a man. She's done people in. Probably even pigs. She smoked a man? What are you talking about, man? Stop talking to him! Kuno, I'm fucking warning you! You're gonna get us into shit! She understands what you're trying to do. Yo, see! Did Kuno not tell you? Kuno told you. Kuno talks to whoever he wants. Talk, pig. Kuno's got it under control. Right. You did it. They're separated. He's even turned his back to her so she can't read his lips. What do you mean she smoked Kuno someone? Kuno means she killed someone. That's right. She's a killer. Like, actually a killer. Did she kill like an abusive parent? His little green eyes are fixed on yours. Fucking yeah. Kuno knows you don't want to face this right now. This dark shit. Kuno faces this shit every day. Makes Kuno's skin crawl. She's probably killed a pig too. I mean, I'm pretty sure she has. How many then? Forget Kuno said that. Kuno was just shitting. Kuno was just running his mouth. Kuno's stupid like that. There's something cold in the air, like water lapping against cold stones or dripping in a hallway nearby. Three years ago, there were shoes in the corner. A cop would be too large for her to overpower. But a determined child of her size can mm. still kill the vulnerable, the elderly, the homeless, or other, other children. Other children? The creature peers at you both from over the fence. There is something searching in her eyes. Fear. Fear of the truth. What about other children? Kuno falls silent. He does not look at you when he replies. Dude, this game? Kuno, there, that's it. That's what Kuno is starting to think, yeah. She your sister? Fuck no, she's not my sister. She's just a stray who got in. Like stray. a mad dog. Yeah, she was just there. What was that, Kuno? She was in the hallway, dripping wet by the fucking shoe rack in the dark. Kuno's got no fucking idea. Her hair was all wet. I think she pissed on the floor too. She was there for three days in the corner. Every like time I know Kuno something horrible out. happened to her. You know this. The body goes into a kind of revulsion shock. Murder hangover. That's what it could have been. Kill the kid. Yes. Makes them look for a quiet, dark place and just hibernate there. Usually goes on for a few days, up to a week. Must have been her first one. You only get it on the first one. I don't know. Someone left the door open. Kuno comes home. She's sleeping under the desk, under the pile of clothes, like a dog. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit. Doesn't even see her there. Or thinks it's fucking Kuno. Shit's all on Kuno. Kuno? Kuno S? Two of a kind. Hmm. What language? What is Fuck that language? Knows. She says it's the song of air people or some shit. What people, man? Crazy people. 
The fucking knackies. I don't know. Some things are too awful to dwell on. The, the knackies, knackies and, and the run carries. Might be some kind of defense mechanism. Why is she called Kuno S? Cause she fucking looks like Kuno. You don't know her name? No one knows her name. Kuno calls her C. You think she has anything to do with- I don't think so. Yeah, she would have liked to fuck him up, but she didn't. Kuno wasn't around, and C was with Kuno. Where were you? Look, Kuno's gonna put you at ease. We didn't do it. You said she's insane? Yeah, she's psycho. None of that kiddie psycho. Cat burn and shit. She does the real deal. Let's leave it yeah, at that then. Let's. How are you dealing with all this, man? How's Kuno dealing? Kuno's dealing just fine. He doesn't need you fucking with any of it. C doesn't either. Kuno's got this shit under control. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's gonna respond well to me saying I'm here for him. But fuck it, maybe he needs to hear it anyway. Listen, listen. C is Kuno's go to. Kuno's protecting her. You fuck with C. You fuck with Kuno. You threaten her. You threaten to take her away. This is what it all comes down to. I am going to kill you. I'll run when you put the cuffs on her, sneak up on you later, and fuck you up. Do you understand? He may not be able to do it, but he will try. Right now, he believes he will. I can respect that, Kuno. All right. Now we can do business. He's breathing heavily. That took something out of him. Business? Yeah. What do you want? Kuno can hook you up with. Oh, don't hook him up with shit, Kuno. See? Relax. He respects the Kuno. Kuno made him respect the Kuno. You respect the Kuno, you get all kinds of shit. Kuno's gonna get you hooked on illegal narcotics. <laughs> if you run a little errand for the Kuno. Get you hooked, pig. Get his hook in you. Then Kuno gonna get you hooking for more. Cash in big style, pig cooker. That's right. Kuno is a candy store for pigs now. Get ready to be rewarded. Yeah, what is, somebody said I, I should do the mission for Kuno. What is the mission? Kuno gets it from his dad. Kuno and his dad are major suppliers. Yeah, who's your That's papa? Where Kuno gets his lightning on. Problem is, Kuno and his dad had a little falling out. Now junkies clawing at Kuno's door. Streets going mad. Kuno's got to throw his dirty popo man at it. All right, all right. The popo man is you. In there is Kuno's violent dad on steroids. Kuno's dad does steroids and speed. If you can take him, you can have half of the speed. Who's your dad? Kuno's dad is a fucking monster. He's the most violent man in Revishow. He doesn't give a shit about a single thing. He drinks too. All right, how much, uh, what are we talking about? Like half. A baggy. But like in this vial. All right. Uh, what's gonna happen? Okay. Kuno's listening. I'm going after the most violent man in Reva Sure, whatever. If you survive, make sure to bring that shit back to Kuno. Kuno's almost out. You wouldn't like the Kuno when he's out. We're gonna get you off drugs, Kuno. Just get in the apartment building. Kuno knows you already fucked your way in. Kuno knows everything. Go to room 12, first floor, and kick down the door. Police violence style, Kuno style. And then if that's it, next time Kuno sees you, you better have his shit. What All right, the hell Kuno. are you signing us up for here? Yeah, Kim, come on, man. Okay, then. All right. Kuno doesn't fucking care. All right. If this is going to be a little violence situation, we got to get fitted the fuck out, dude. We got... He, he got, got that, that shit on. on no. Um, let's see. Let's get me authority. Let's get me half light. Let's get me... Perception can't hurt. It'd be good to have pain threshold. Pain threshold plus more half light. You already know we got that shit on. You already know what the fuck. You already know who the realist is. Um, let's get these on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's going on here? All right, that'll do. What's this doing? All right, that'll do, that'll do. Oh, this was giving me minus empathy. I didn't even know. I really should check these things. What's this do? All right. Hmm. These are some wonderfully regular pants. Not too tight, not too loose, moderate in every sense. I like that. Mm -hmm. I know you do. These inter -isolari pants are like wearing a perfect compromise in your nether regions. 
No one will call the moral intern on you like this. That's for sure. Dope. You're a little more moralist now, buddy. The world's most normal, laughable centrist. Didn't want to be. <laughs> Makes sense. This is what wearing boring office trousers does to I guess I accidentally became a centrist in the game. In real life, I guess I'd fall somewhere closer to being a filthy communard. But, you know, I don't know how that affects the gameplay. I was unsure. Like, I really wasn't clear on, like, I, it was, I wasn't exactly sure that the game wouldn't punish me for having left-leaning tendencies. And I just wanted to enjoy the game, you know? I just wanted to play video games. First floor, apartment 12. All right, this is the first floor. What is this? Take that. What's in here? A shabby door hangs oddly. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Secured to the door frame with a safety chain. An unpaid energy bill is attached. Your heartbeat quickens. Palms go sweaty. The siren of amphetamine is singing you her song. Interfacing? All right. Um... A shabby door hangs oddly on its right. hinges. Secured to the door frame with a sick snip. The cutter goes through them like dead leaves. The links fall to the ground on the other side of the door. Don't let the quiet fool you. The beast is in there somewhere. Probably just going to be some guy just like... With a broken bottle. Rolling on something just like pass the fuck out on the floor, right? I know there's no stopping you. But let's at least make this quick. Master investigator, you just can't keep yourself away from locked and hidden places, can you? Nothing, nothing. You're right. Get in there. Attaboy, the world's secrets were made for you. They wait patiently for you to uncover them. Jamrock shuffle? I feel like I'm going to internalize that one too. No one's in here? All right. A phone book lies open on Did the I just table. hear a dog growling? A stack of utility bills. Right next to it, in Oh, he's sight, snoring. Okay. Sits a small bottle of amphetamine, conveniently equipped with a straw. You pocket the bottle as if it were the most natural thing in the world. Don't wait. Celebrate. Blast that shit. Blast it before you face the beast. De Ruita. You I don't know that he is a beast, is he? But for, for Kuno to be the way he is, something has to be wrong. Oh, well, it can't hurt to do a little speed anyway. Alright. Um, I've got my gunny gun in hand. I have no bullets, but he doesn't need to know that. A bundle of clothes heaped on the bed. As in the dark, it looks like a nest. Mm -hmm. Something underneath there. It doesn't give a shit that you're a It's not too late. No one's going to blame. Wait, I want to, I want, I want to steal some clothes. Yeah, that's what I want to do. A bundle of clothes. All right, let's fuck this guy up if we need to, or cry over his life story and find and pieces of myself some within him, even. or find my father in him. Let's do it. In the dark, it looks like a nest. <sighs> Something underneath. It doesn't. It's not too late. Your hand touches a green. It's deep. You see a 60 year old fat red headed man passed out from large amounts of alcohol and God knows what else. The smell of shit rises from his mouth. You don't have to take him down. He's already down. <laughs> Silence. He wouldn't be too thrilled to learn you stole his stash. It was the what is there to do? We could turn him on his side so he doesn't choke on his own vomit, but he's already on his side. We could take him to Remedy or Saint Baptiste, but he doesn't have money for medical service. They don't do charity for people who are trying to kill themselves. Besides, the pile of blankets grunts miserably. The man groans once again, but his tongue keeps failing him. It's impossible to make out the syllables. A hand emerges from the blankets, trying to gesticulate something. And then it dawns upon you, clear and surreal. Pigs. He's trying to call you pigs. Are you going to let a semi-conscious degenerate disrespect you? 
His hand falls back on the bed. At least he got to say his piece. <laughs> well... The lieutenant's right. The There's still plenty to be scared of here. Just not what you thought. No, it really doesn't. This man won't be feeding his family anytime soon. Not that he was, but... At least he won't be beating his son. Yeah, I was looking forward to like... I guess... I was really, really hoping he'd be like a... Like a shitty boss battle, you know? So I could work out my daddy issues, but you know, I guess... This is more of a realistic situation. A pair of half-open bug eyes is staring back at you from the dark, empty, and frozen. His half-open eyes give him the look of a dead man. But he is in there. Look, he's trying to communicate. I'm afraid it is. Look. And look, the other foot is camouflaged. A groan rises from the man's throat. The bear is trying to wake up. Silence. He wouldn't be too... Th all right, well, fucking pigus. Uh, Kuno, damn, I'm on two drugs right now. It's crazy. Am I really gonna just give these drugs to Kuno though? What color? I mean, he said there's like addicts knocking his door down or whatever. So like, hopefully he would just be selling them. But I don't know. Fuck does Kuno care? Took care of the situation, Kuno. All right. So you got Kuno's kilo. Here is how we do it. First. Give Kuno Ku that's how we split it. It's the best way. Street way. Aren't you gonna ask how I got past your papa? Where on the street is. You said your little friend in dressed as a hooker. Distraction style. That's some sick shit. What are you talking about, man? Not a single muscle moves on the lieutenant's face. Kuno wants to hear all about it. But first, we split the kilo. Then we shoot the shit. I don't want to give him. Kuno knows what Kuno means. You're 12, All man. All right. Kuno knew you'd try. Tell him, Kuno. Kuno's got brains. This shit doesn't surprise Kuno. Major fucking choice. Kuno won't take this shit lightly. It's hard to see how not giving a boy a bag of amphetamine would cause some catastrophic cascade response. Hard to see, but easy to feel. Somehow, this will change things it's not hard to see at all you hand out drugs to kids the lieutenant's faith in your judgment will diminish significantly none that you can see no you can see it this young man has junior officer material in him really in another life where he trusts you tick 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 decision time what's it gonna be you gonna fuck the kuno i don't want to give kuno drugs like, whatever it is he could give me, I can accomplish. You know, like, whatever piece of it, I'm not giving all you right, drugs. All right. You fucked the Kuno. Everybody, Kuno got fucked by his pocket pig. Just when we get in our business on, the pig throws it all away. I told you he can't be trusted. Relax, see? We got plenty of keys. This is about you and Kuno. You mismanaged this shit. Now everything is fucked between us. In truth. Kuno doesn't really believe there's anything you can do to make up for this. The damage is irreparable. Yeah, so fucking what? Fuck are you talking to Kuno about that kiddie shit? He's trying to fuck you again. Fuck out of here. Kuno knows it's fucking lame. That's why Kuno changed it. Kuno can change his <laughs> name into anything. He's gonna change my name into... <laughs> Alright, Kuno. Don't change your name into that, Kuno. Why is why is faggot censored as a slur and every other one isn't though? Why why that one? The fuck do you know about Kuno's life? Kuno's got plans. Get the fuck out of here. What are your plans yeah, then? Six meters underground, below piping from before the war, the collapsed remains of the Martinez storm drain system. There are two stolen flashlights with mm. piles of batteries next. They're gonna to them, get away. Beside yeah. Two bedrolls in the dark and opening into the lower tunnels. Yeah? How the fuck are you still alive, pig? Yeah, Kim dressed up as a hooker. The lieutenant <laughs> a sharp look. Only his <laughs> tightly closed lips betray the effort keeping silent takes him. 
Dude, I love fucking with Kim, man. Fuck out of here. Kuno made that shit up to demean you. Look, pigs. Kuno gets it. You don't want to talk about it. Close quarters combat shit. Kuno doesn't want to talk about it either. Combat trauma shit. That room was so small. To be stuck in there with him. Not an easy fight for a kid. He's half dead, man. What? His posture changes. The swaying rooster motion stops for a second. Then he gets it going again. Fuck right. Kuno's dad was sleeping like a bum. Kuno told you. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about anything. Fucking breaking and entering shit. That's nothing to Kuno's dad. You got lucky, pig. Kuno knew this. Kuno's fucking violent fiend dad's been drinking hard lately. Kuno knew you have a way in. Narrow window. Kuno window. <sighs> Yeah, he's a killer. Stop trying to give Kuno your pity shit. Kuno knows what that shit is. Kuno's dad's gonna be a fucking vegetable. Stroke shit. Stomach fucked up and... Kuno's gonna go out like that too. Gonna be just like Kuno's violent dad. Fuck on speed. Do crime shit. Go out fast. Revish Revish all West, all West style. style. Stop saying all this sad shit, Kuno. There's a touch of grief in there. Fuck are you talking, sad? Kuno's got hard shit, death shit, nothing shit. You don't have to turn into that, Kuno. Get your fucking nun ass out of here before Kuno fucks it dead. You think because you took Kuno's speed, Kuno's gonna sob like a f Turn into... Kuno ain't turning into shit. Kuno is... Kuno is that shit. If he doesn't stop soon, he's going to collapse from exhaustion. Kuno won! Oh, you won, Kuno! He did not win. There is a crack in there now, and it's spreading across the face of his certainty. Fuck right there were. Fucking three years or some shit. Yeah, that's right. Kuno's dad doesn't give a shit about that electricity and light shit. Just wants to pound on people and drink. No place to live in, Kuno. That's right. It's a shithole. Kuno's gonna move underground. Leroyme shit. Ancient shit. Kuno's gonna live in a fucking catacomb. Yeah, in a tomb, Kuno. All right. That didn't change shit, pig. That only made things worse. Fucking social worker shit. It doesn't work, pig. It doesn't work, Kuno. Only our shit works. Kuno doesn't fucking care. Hmm. Is that it for Kuno for now? Talk to him later. Let's go, um, what color? Let's go call the library. And then I'll go get that tool for Suna. Yeah, let's call the library. And then I'll call my station and tell him I found both my badge and my gun. Inside, you see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull-out toolbox, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. This is Precinct 57. How may I assist you? Jamrock Public Library. Hold on, officer. Hello, Alice. Af Af Alice. Hi, Alice. You look good today, Alice. I've got Central Jamrock Public Library on the line, and I've already introduced you to the librarian. Connecting the call in two, one. Yes, this is Central Jamrock Public Library here. How can I help you, officer? He sounds worried. Yet ready to assist this is how people get when the police call naturally i'm looking for any information on billy mijon billy billy mijon you said give me a moment i'll have to check our database on moreau drive in central jamrock in a darkened hall lit by orange desk lamps far away from the noise outside a middle-aged man taps commands into an old radio computer. A printout falls on the desk. Behind him, a lonely reader scours some dusty bookshelves, looking for a paperback. Yes, hello, are you still there? I found Billy Majan's home address, is that alright? No phone number, unfortunately. Hmm. They're too poor to have a phone line. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Here we go, sir. Rue de saint Gislaine, 33B, apartment number 20. It's in Martinez, I believe. Capeside Apartments, it says. That's all. That's all. All right. That's where the smoker on the balcony lives, isn't it? 
Yeah. Any other info on him? It says here that they returned their last book just a few days ago, but I wasn't at work that day. You know anyone who was? Marie? Marie? Do you remember a reader named Billy Majon? Maurice, what? A woman yells. Then. Yes, yes. Yes, it, it was my colleague Marie. Uh, she said that it was Billy's husband who returned the book. He also asked for this new sci-fi release, Lowe's Radio City 87. But we don't have it yet. Good. You have a name now. Hmm. Do you know the husband's name? Sorry, no. Marie only knows him by sight. What did he look like? Marie! She said it was an older man, and that she's pretty sure he'd had a drink or two the last time she saw him. Uh, one sec. Sorry, Marie wasn't really paying any attention to that. How'd your colleague know that was her husband? Marie knows Billy. She's been working here longer than me. Sometimes her husband returns some books for her. And then goes for a little drink later. On, on the, the lookout. lookout. Happy it. we could help. Goodbye, officer. Cheers, Anything man. else you need from me? Uh, get me to station 41. Right. Alice! Firewalker. I got my gun. Roger that, and very glad to hear it. I will make relevant changes to the report. And also my bad. sir, glad to hear that. I'll write down that there is no need to issue a new one to you then. Over. Feels good to get that off your chest, right? Celebration with beer. Roger uh, that, 10 10, over and out. Alright, that's that. I think. It feels really good to be um, completing these missions, you know, wrapping up these loose ends. Um, I'm gonna unlock something else. Somebody told me to definitely, um, fair what T T500. Somebody told me to internalize this also for sure. And then I'm going to check in with Jamrock Shuffle. I don't know why, but it it, it interests me. I'm gonna go try to find the thing in the ice cream um, machine first. We'll call her. Wow, it sure does feel good to be playing Disco Elysium and, and not be on the verge of tears for <laughs> for more than five minutes. I gotta tell you, this is a really interesting game with a ton of very cool world building. It sure is nice not being assaulted every five seconds. Can't wait for that to start back up. Alright, um, I unplugged the ice cream machine thing. Let me equip the multi-tool also. Damn, it's huge. I thought it was a little thing. This orange machine is dead still. It Physical instrument? Okay. Du -du -du. This orange machine is dead still. Ice groans and howls under the strain of your giant Gavalzund multi-tool. Until the lid cracks open, darkness lies inside, but you can faintly make out an object, intricate and foreign, left there for a sub-zero beauty sleep, a filament memory, with the words, Off-site off copy, copy. disappointment washes over you as you no stare into the... No ice cream, dude, I've been craving ice cream for ice days, cream. but every time I go to get the ice cream, it's like, nothing is appealing to me. Food hasn't tasted good for a long time, chat. What's that about? Imagine not liking ice cream anymore. We live in a society. You gently lift the cube from its frosty bedding. Careful not- We should take it back to Miss Lucan and Kilda as soon as possible. I'm not sure- Yes, but aren't you curious to know what's on the precious Philip? Is there a radio computer upstairs? Um, I think somebody said something about using a radio compu computer. Not gonna lie to you. Uh, I, 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 I don't want to. I don't want to. So Nalukan and killed. What a name, dude. Whenever my last day comes about, I want to spend it playing uh, Boag games with. Take off this hat. Give me some fucking shades on, dude. I'm in here for. Uh... You know what? Fuck it. Let's just get dripped out at this point. All right. Disco Elysium wrong. Fashion Elysium.
What do we got on the mesh tank top for sure? We got some black jeans, don't we? All right, all right, all right, all right. Dude, there's some sneakers that I wanted to buy. Oh no, I'm accidentally starting to look like a London leather gay again. Let's go with these, dude. You can't, you can't go wrong. Let's go with these. Real, real detective shit, dude. Let's put on my gloves. What about this? Nah, nah, nah. Real detective. What about this? Nah, 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 nah. Real detective shit. At the end of the day, dude, my hat would have been cool right now. What's going on here? He's a fashion demon. That's the thing about my boy is he's a fucking fashion demon. What about this? That's it's kind of good. He kind of got that shit on. You know, bow tie. No, 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 no. Get that out of here. The scented scarf. No, 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 no. We got to get our. Oh, the. Stop playing with my boy, dude. Oh, oh, baby. Come off of it. Y'all are going to sit here and tell me this isn't the build. Dude. What is this? I mean, David Foster Wallace core, but dude, dude, my boy, Harry Dubois. Yeah, our life may be falling apart, but at the very least, we got that shit on, dude. We got that shit on. There he, oh my days. Go get him. Adder, 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 adder. He's got that shit on. Wait, 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 wait. Push, push, push. Oh, I wish I could play it. I wish I could play it. Wait, 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 wait. Harry, walk over here. Push, 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 push. Du -du -dun, du -du -dun, du -du -dun, ah, all right, all right, all right. Let's get back to the game, man. Go get him. Joyce, I've lost my memory. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? I need someone to give me a lowdown on this reality we're in. This reality? I can't remember shit, babe. Ah, yes. The episode. Sounds like an acute case of encephalopathy, now that I think of it. I should know what encephalopathy is. I studied so hard. I was going to medical school. I wanted to be a doctor. Unfortunately, I was shat out on a poor continent the poor family any brain disease that alters brain fat uh function or structure no don't be <laughs> faith like that he functions perfectly well he only needs a low down, low down on all, of, all reality. of reality right we may be here a while then ask away officer i'll help however i can all right we're in i know these all look good but begin with the first okay where are we we're in martinez Baby. <laughs> Baby. Joyce! Stop it. What is Martinez? Martinez is a district of Revachol. A very small district tucked away near the industrial harbor. North of the 881 and Jamrock. You would be excused for not knowing about it. Unimportant, they say. Forgotten, even. Shelled to smithereens during the revolution. It has its charms, just not this time of year. Mm. That's Martinez. What's Revachol? Revachol is what you call a city. How big of a city, though? A great kind. As if it's self-explanatory. History detective. They built this city to resolve history. And why will our it resolve part, history? They say it's where the terrible questions of our time will be answered. The tensions are highest. The fault line's deepest. Hmm. By that I mean conflicts. Ideological conflicts. The stuff of men. Why here? We are standing on a fertile, self-sufficient island able to sustain up to 200 million people in the middle of the Insulindic Ocean, the world's connective tissue. It's where the money is. We're an unimportant part of an important place. But it's the oh, center of the world. quite a way off. About? A sparkle of lights on the horizon, like morning stars above the curvature of the planets. 22 kilometers from the center of the world. That soldering iron is the bank of the world building. The bottom floors are Insiacom. Coalition government, Insulindian Mission Command. Silence. She lowers her hand. The water, the light, 
There is no recognition, only the immensity of the sea and the cold radiating from it. She observes your eyes scanning the horizon. Jamais vu. Then breaks the silence slowly. Derealization. I know all about that. This is one thought you need to complete. Where are you? Was there something else you wanted to know? This has been informative. Thank you, ma'am. I'm sure my mem might I suggest not asking them all right now? Absolutely. Shut up, man. My commitment here is long term. That is understandable. But perhaps it's indeed. I'm always at your service. Hmm. Conceptualization. Glad to have been of assistance. All right. That Let's see if I have anything. We're gonna ruin the fit. I wish you had like sets. You know what I mean? This gives me conceptualization. You're back. Good. More lessons in basic reality. Damn, it's still impossible. Whatever, give it a go. Day. A strange coldness comes up. It's on the tip of... Uh, whatever. Been of assistance. The little that I know. I gotta find out more about the pale, but maybe we'll save that. Let's go give Suna, Lucan, and Kilda her material. Suna! I've got your film, Suna. Yes, what is it? Here yes? is it. Here it is. Thanks. Looks like it's the one. What's gonna happen now? Now I'm going to print it out to see what's left of it. Wait. No. That's dangerous. She shouldn't do it. What are you hoping to find? I have a theory. Lintel was able to divine the location of the anomaly from this broken copy. I want to repeat their calculation, only this time with better equipment. Mm -hmm. Watch. What an intricate display of failure. The papers start filling out with ink, soaking it in a gleaming blackness. Not a single line of data stands out. Sona doesn't reply, her hands running over the printout. She's looking for something, for her morning star, eyes scouring the millimeters. Here, I found it. Hold on. Just give me a second. I'm almost... I've never witnessed a programmer work before. Done. I've got it. I found the location of the anomaly. Congrats. Thank you. Where is it? There. In the swallow. Think you can help me again? Sure. I need you to go move those water bolts for me. I need to double check my calculations. Just walk over to the circle and follow my instructions. Move the third bolt two centimeters to the left. And the fourth bowl five centimeters to the right. This should do the trick. Third bowl two cm left. Fourth bowl five cm right. Oh, it's it's uh it's math. Plus one minus one, yeah. In what order is she counting? It's awfully silent again. As if measurements have been marked down around the bowls. Each chalk drawn line representing a centimeter on the floor. Third bowl, 2 cm left. It moves like a ghost without creating a single trace of sound. Fourth bowl, left five. Some water spills out of the bowl, wetting the floor. The lead programmer sends you an encouraging thumbs up from across the hall. Time to run back, or maybe walk. This. Moved them? Great. Everything should be aligned now. Miss Know It All is hesitating. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Now the only thing left to do is to unmute the headphones. If we got the location right, we should then be able to hear whatever sound this anomaly makes. Wanna just be silent? I don't know. That's what I'm scared of. I don't know. It could be anything. I mean, what sound does the nothing make? How can you even listen to something that doesn't exist? What if silence is only what surrounds it, but the swallow itself is... Just do it. Maybe. Maybe I'm just tired. Let's just face it. Yeah. You're right. Let's do it. The lieutenant takes a step back. And then nothing. Nothing happens. As she doesn't talk. Her eyes closed and brows knitted together in a state of deep focus. Damn it. 
Yeah, yeah. Nothing happened. Let's move on. Despite her fear, she was... No. No. My hypothesis was wrong. According to this, I should have heard something mm. if I got the coordinates right. Like I said, silence is only what surrounds it. But this... This is just another failure. Silence sounds like silence. That's all it is. You can try on the headphones. See if you can hear. Silence is silence? This can't be it. You should have a listen. Alright. Perception. Alright, alright. Okay, 42% is great odds. Give me that. Everything nice! Appears. You are draped in silence like a drowning man staring into his puny little headspace. And then the pressure changes. It feels like flying on an aerostatic, or when your ears pop, or like a subtle difference in the atmosphere, a weather change hanging in the air. What if the sound you're looking for is too low for you to hear it? A better sound system? All right, but where would we get one? From the boys! Suddenly, a rhythmic beat permeates the walls. They should really allocate some renovation funds to this place. No. What they really should do is shut down the disc. You mean the speed freaks? Of course. The speed freaks. They have a fantastic sound system. I guess I could live through a week or two of. Brilliant negotiating there, Detective. Sure. Let me know how it goes. All right, all right, all right. Let's go talk to them. We them boys. Oh no! Oh damn! This is this might be a long episode. Sorry, Andre. So, uh, how are things going? Yes. What's the deal? She needs your speakers for her project, bro. We are grateful, Cop Man. You're an augury of a new era of a Nordic dance music. Share the space. That's fine. We can manage. Glad we I could help. We appreciate it. It's going to take us a bit to move our stuff inside. A couple of hours, maybe. Come check back later. Let's get moving. Let's see. Yeah! It's a banger too! All four back door hard. Yeah, it's all set up, man. Can you already imagine a thousand people in here? Ten thousand. Ecstatic vibrations, totally transcendent. And I've finished setting up the new compressor too. Now the only thing left to do is the name of the club. Will you do the honors, detective? Yeah, what's you the have? name? Disco Elysium. Like that Delorean word for the world, you mean? Elysium. But Disco Elysium? Isn't it wacky? Disco's kind of gone, isn't it? The past is the future! But, but the, the future, future is, dead. is dead! Internet age, no, baby. It's beautiful. Beautiful and brave. Like we want it to be. Hell yeah! Go get her. And short. And memorable. It's settled then. Everyone welcome. Welcome to, to Disco, Disco Elysium. Elysium. This is the best game I've ever played. It's the best game. It's the best game I've played. Also, don't play it. <laughs> best game, don't play it. Do, 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 do. Ah! I got my Wendy Williams shit going on. Said everyone welcome to Disco Elysium. The wind brings some snow in from the broken gallery. It wraps you in its embrace. Hey, so what if my oh, wife left me in a shack up with somebody else and they're making playlists for them on Spotify? I got Disco Elysium. Tomorrow is just a whisper away. On Return to that mural. Into, friends it dance like motion to celebrate the name. So you should go with the flow. Join in on the experience. It feels good. It feels right. I can talk to the lads later. Yes, what is it? What? <sighs> what did you say? I can't hear you! The music is too loud! Oh, the project! It's not going well! There's that guy! I need him to plug a 3.5 cable into the auxiliary 
necessary input so that I can route the audio signal through the mixer into the speakers. He doesn't listen to me. He only Oh, uh, I gotta talk to. Maybe you can get through his magic, magic rhymes. rhymes. Let me know how it goes. All right, I gotta get. All right, we'll give it one last go and we'll see. The clothes, true, hard, full car. Several song filled hours later. Question is, what is the question? No, but seriously, I'm a bit worried it isn't. <laughs> the skin on your back is crawling. For a second, you can't even hear the music anymore. There is a hawthorn tree on Rue de Songe's Lane, right next to the canal. Don't okay. be alarmed. Everything is okay. He isn't actually worried. Everything, Everything is still, is still hard. Good. What he probably means is, it could be even more so. Can you please write Who's the signal through? Yeah! I oh, she uses 3.5. Yeah. Oh no. We're Don't worry. I have an adapter Let's go. right here. Hang on. This is a 4.5. We're all good, people. Whoa, thank God. Adapters noticeably degrade the sound quality. Great! Someone got through to him. Okay, let's get it all set up. Can we turn the music off, please? Yeah, let's turn it off. Everybody! Everybody! Don't panic! I'm going to turn off the on off for just a sec for a special scheduled event. The on off will be back, but we're all right! All right, Suna, come on, let's get this going. Uh, yes, uh, what is uh, it? Uh, 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 right. Okay, but think you can ask him to turn the volume down. Maximum! Maximum! I know, I know it is, but could you <laughs> Maximum please turn is the only it down way. just this instance? Pump it to the brick! Pump it, Pump to, it the to the hard master! master. There is no other way! Glue style! Glue style? Okay, there literally is no other way. The it's glued to maximum? glued to maximum? See? Huh? He pumps it to the hard master. It's hope, it's of course with... it is. Okay. Yeah! Right, fuck it. Never mind then. Let's get on with our project. I'm going to unmute the speakers on a count of five. Everyone ready? Egghead pumps his hand up in the air, waiting for the beat to drop. Born ready. All right, Andre, get that shit! Ah, 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 ah. Okay, okay, okay. Ready. I'm ready if you two are detectives. The lieutenant nods stoically. Suddenly, your palms are sweaty. The church seems cold and large. Somehow, there's tightness in your chest. Anxiety. Don't care. Let's go. Glue Five, style. Four. Three. Two. T one. one. You disengaged. No wind outside. No waves, no floorboards creaking. Total, continuous silence. This is unnatural. The woman looks around. In the silence, you see dust move on the floorboards. The driver of the speaker vibrates in the air and then stops. Plasterwork begins to crumble down the walls. In the silence, a low hum starts creeping up your spine. It's a song inside you, not in the speakers, not in the room. A great bass sigh in the basement of your mind. Slowly, it builds the until the air break. around you starts to vibrate. It's out there now, in the world, made manifest. It will devour everything, the floorboards, the glass, the streets and the people. Nothing will remain. End it. Guys, what's going on? It's getting louder. In the basins, the water looks like it's, it's boiling. Hosiana, mother of Mega. In his mind, a tidal wave approaching from afar. He's peaking, the worst high he's ever been on. The beauty and the beat, the future of dance. Planetary! No, Egg! It's the window! In the corner of your eye, the lieutenant steps aside. The window is going to come down! No, the roof! 
Noid wanted this though. Cracks appear on the stained glass window. Come down to us! Love! Below it, all the base grows. Like the jaws of a giant compressor gnawing on metal and wood. It does not sound benevolent at all. A great pulse arises in your flesh. That's it. I'm muting it. Don't panic. Beautiful car! Beautiful car! Let it happen, let it happen. Shit. It doesn't stop. A seal? Have you? Yes, I've turned it off. The mic is nothing. And this has nothing to do with the mic. Dude, I love Shivers' voice. I don't know who voices Shivers, but I love it. Andre, pull the compressor! The place is gonna come down! Fuck! I can't shut it up! The signal's passed! It's not in here! It in the mixing desk now, building into a positive feedback loop. This is it. A great roar. The I don't want to stop it. twists above you. Glass shatters somewhere near the... But then, it stops. Totally and utterly, as if there never was a sound. Only your ears still ring from the shock. Egg. I pulled the plug. It was getting too hardcore. You did good, Egg. Most of the place seems to be intact. Fucking hell. Programmer lady, tell me you were recording that. Four years. Twenty-two people. Millions of reals. All that time, this is what we were up against. Just erased it. Suriswolf isn't gonna believe this. Yeah, but did you record it, though? Yes, Andre. I recorded it. Damn, I, I need to send some letters now. Thank you all for doing this. Eggman, you too. And you, officer. I don't know what we've discovered. But I know what it sounds like now. That's the start. Stay here. I'm going to stay here with these lunatics. Send letters, maybe meet Suliswolf. Also devise further measurements. I want you to know that's totally chill with us. I don't care, but thank you anyway. That's the best she can manage for Andre. It's quite a lot in truth for her. Now, I have a theory to come up with. Some kind of preliminary explanation to all this. Damn, what is going on? The mysteries. Mind. The mysteries, man. Hardcore! Yes, and we have to get back to stabilizing Martinez. Instead of demolishing it with loud bass noise of unknown origins. Off sign, Kim. Some tiny hard thing lets go in your stomach. You're still alive. You have an explanation for all this. Somewhere deep in you. You just don't... Hail unknown. Inside. Okay, we got to find out more about the pale, but we'll do that on the next episode. For now, see you tomorrow. I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow is my birthday. Um, I plan to spend the day wallowing in self-pity. Maybe do a do an evening stream just to say hello to my Twitch chat one last time. And um, we'll see. All right, boys. We'll see.